Vanessa, thank you. Are cells the future of medicine? Promising treatments using living human cells are showing dramatic impacts on many diseases and even slowing down the aging process. It's the topic in the new book, Cells Are the New Cure, the cutting edge medical breakthroughs that are transforming our health. It's written by our very own Dr. Max Gomez and Dr. Robin Smith, and they're here live yeah. with us this morning. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. So, Dr. Smith, let me start with you. It's a fascinating read. Why did you both want to write this? Well, you know, technology is emerging so quickly, and we wanted to help people understand in a way that, that was engaging where it's going, where medicine is going, and how cells can be used to treat many diseases. Because this is easy for non -sci I'm not a science person. This is easy to understand Good, as, the whole point. as you go through it. And, and part of the cells that we're talking about are adult stem cells, right, Dr. Max? Right. This is not embryonic stem cells, because that is still sort of controversial and, and and in order to use embryonic stem cells, you have to destroy an embryo. Turns out we have adult stem cells in our brain, in our heart, muscle, uh, lungs, and by the way, in fat. So, you know, most of us have plenty of stem cells around. And one of the things you write is cell therapy is among the most exciting and promising fields of research for cancer treatments. So I want to start with Absolutely. cancer. Talk a little bit about that and why is it so promising? So it's not just stem cells that we're talking about. We're talking about kind of cells in writ general. large, mm -hmm. cells in general. And it turns out for certain kinds of cancers, what we call blood cancers, you can take some of your own cells out, T cells, manipulate them, genetically manipulate them, and turn them into killer cells, put them back in, and it goes after your own leukemia and lymphomas in this case. And there are two of those that have already been FDA approved. So this is not science fiction somewhere off in the future. This is happening right now. Blood cancers, and you also talk about melanoma in the book as well. Melanoma. Now for that, what we're doing is turning your own cells on with some medication. Jimmy Carter, as we know, had malignant melanoma in his brain. He didn't have brain cancer. He had melanoma that went to his brain. Mm -hmm. At 90 plus years old, generally you could measure lifespan there in weeks or months at most. Right. He took some drugs that are called uh, checkpoint inhibitors or a drug and it kind of took the brakes off his own immune cells mm -hmm. so they went after the melanoma. So it's another way of turning your own cells on. Uh, let's talk about diabetes because you write about using stem cells to grow new insulin producing cells which affects so many people. Absolutely, and stem cells are being used to make these cells of the pancreas that makes the insulin. But also we're learning how to stop the diabetes before it happens, like type 1 diabetes, where your immune system attacks the cells of the pancreas and destroys them. And anti-aging, let's talk about that as well, because you also, a lot of people are interested in anti-aging. You talk about that in the book. How, are, how can you use cells to do this? Well, you know, there's so much research being done in how to keep ourselves young. And the idea here, again, is not to live to be a hundred or 110 and be sick for the last 20 years of your life. So it's about extending health span, not mm -hmm. just extending lifespan. And one of the ways we found out that young stem cells can rejuvenate all the stem cells that we have in our body. And the stem cells are how we you know, regenerate and refresh all of the tissues in our body. So it turns out that young stem cells can talk to old stem cells and say, psst, 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 wake up, <laughs> right. it's time to do, you know, do your job. And so we've got stem cells now we can get from placenta, human placenta, it's not ready for prime time yet. Mm -hmm. And by the way, people say, you know, there's this fad that people eat their placenta. Yes. That's not how it works. But if you extract placental stem cells, put them in, they regenerate and refresh all of these uh, stem cells. Or you can do it if you've banked your own young stem cells. Mm -hmm. You can use those stem cells. And exercise, it turns out, is probably the single strongest way without doing all these other manipulations of mobilizing our own stem cells, waking them up and getting them to help us out. It's really fascinating. And if you are reading the book, just qu quickly, because we just have a few seconds and you're interested in any of these treatments, talk to your doctor. W what should people keep in mind? Absolutely. It's always good to talk to your doctor, to work with universities, to look for clinical trials um, that are registered. And legitimate, yes. Right, okay. legitimate major medical centers. If somebody tells you it's too good to be true or it sounds too good to be true. It probably is. Yep. Both of you, thank you so much. Yeah, we appreciate yeah, it and we'll be right back.